As expected this week, Google unveiled its new handset, the Nexus One. We take a closer look at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas to see what the hype is all about and find out Google's real motive for the phone. With already 20 Android phones in 48 markets, why is the Nexus garnering so much attention? Well, for starters, it's the first phone that Google is co-branding with HTC, the Taiwanese company behind the first Android phone, the G1. The 3.7-inch touchscreen has a finer resolution, is slightly thinner, lighter, and boasts longer battery life than the iPhone. There's now an icon that lets you view all five home screens in one view and a new dictation-to-text feature. The phone runs on Android 2.1 Eclair OS, and like the Acer Liquid and Sony Ericsson X10, the Nexus One is powered by the super-fast Snapdragon 1 GHz processor. But in Europe and most parts of the world, the Nexus One is not earth-shattering news. After all, it's just another Android phone. But to the search giant, it not only broadens the reach of its mobile operating system, it's also creating a new business model that will apparently democratize the mobile space in the U.S., which, according to Google, still suffers from a walled garden. In Europe, um, unlocked devices already enjoy a healthy market. People uh, buy devices unlocked and they for years. In the U.S., that is certainly not the case. Uh, all, you know, hero devices from OEMs generally have been locked into one carrier. Um, you know, for as long as most people can remember, sometimes maybe two, um, you know, but there hasn't really been um, in a way for users to par uh, purchase unlocked phones and also have the offered service for those phones from multiple carriers at one location before. Um, and so that's, that's what's really different about this business model. The phone will sell exclusively on its new online store, google.com forward slash phone, SIM free for 529 US dollars or $179 with a T-Mobile contract. It will also be available on Verizon Wireless sometime in the near future and in Europe on the Vodafone network. But Google didn't make its billions from being altruistic. Many analysts argue that their gradual move into the mobile industry is motivated by ad spend. Well, Google's head of Android partnerships admits to us the real motive, which we already knew. Android is just another way for Google to profit off mobile search and services. Not a charity, of course. Uh, uh, we do think open as a business model, as a technology model, is very good, um, both for consumers, they have more choice, both for the industry, they have more flexibility, and obviously for Google, we think it strengthens their business model and gets us more users, which means more advertising to get clicked on. So, you know, we've seen significant increase in web usage on these types of devices, not just on Android, but on other smartphone uh, or uh, newer smartphone platforms. We've seen significantly increased web usage, and that's, you know, really good for mobile internet, for the internet in general, and that's obviously good for Google as an internet company that makes a majority of its money from people using the internet and doing searches.